You've seen them around, you know, those scratch maze games, and now you're wondering, how do I make one? Well stick around because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started and make an easy one just for beginners, in just a moment. Hello world, it's Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer and lover of learning, bringing you the goodness of learning through games. On this channel, we code Scratch projects together via video tutorials, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. At any point during the video, check out the show notes and links in the description below. I list out resources, unplugged activities and PDFs that can help you along on your learning journey. Alright, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so you've pressed that create button and it's taking you here, the Scratch project page. Let's go ahead and give our project a name. Cool. Let's go ahead and delete the Scratch Cat. We're going to create our own sprite and it's going to take the shape of a circle. And the reason for that is that the ancient Egyptians used to call the planet names Wanderers because they didn't know what they were in the sky. They were like dancing around everywhere. So that's what our dude is going to be doing in the maze. It's going to be a wanderer. So let's call it a wanderer. Wanderer, -er 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 -er. let's put our wanderer in the center of the stage, zoom back out, beautiful. Okay, our wanderer needs some eyes. I'm just going to zoom back in and lower the stroke. Let's get some more circles happening. There's one eye, let's copy it, and two eyes. Cool. Now, our wanderer is currently looking right, so it makes sense to name this costume right. And duplicate, and this one look left. Grab this eye, come over there, might space them out a little bit more. Beautiful. Now we're looking left. Duplicate that, this one, it's gonna look up. And one more time, hopefully you know where this is going. That's right, all the way down. Beautiful, right, left, up and down. Cool, so let's jump across into our code and hook this up. Whenever you start a project, you press the green flag. So let's go get that block from the events. When the green flag is pressed, we need to forever do something. So the idea is that when we're pressing the arrows, which I'm currently doing right now and nothing is happening, we want our wanderer to look in that direction. So let's do that. Gonna get an if block, going to get a key press, and we're gonna go for the right arrow. Change the look, I'm gonna switch the costume to right. Makes sense. Okay, let's duplicate that. Do the same thing, but for the left side. All right, let's see how we're going. So there is right, there is left. Going back and forth, back and forth. Cool, holding it down. Looks like it's working. Duplicate, Oh, let's go up. I like up, cool. I'm gonna press the green flag and look, I'm looking up now. So there's left, there's right, and now there's up. Oh, pressing down, not working. It's because we need to put that piece of code in there. So duplicate once more. Let's go down, boom. Okay, and let's press that green flag. Boom, down, up, left, and right. Yeehaw, okay. So this is cool, but something wrong. Like our wanderer is not moving. So let's work that out. Okay, so let's look at right and left first. So what we need to do is we need to go and get some motion blocks. Now we know that going across means moving along the X axis. So we're gonna be grabbing a motion block that is changing the X, which is this one just here. So if we wanna change a positive value, that means we're gonna be going right. So let's just grab that straight out of there and change the X by 10. So I'm gonna press down the right key now. Watch what happens, Whee! okay. Uh, there goes our wanderer. I'm trying to come back, but it's not happening. So what I need to do is I'm just going to duplicate that and instead of going positive 10, we're going to go negative 10. So I'm going to press the green flag and yes, our wanderer is coming back. So now our wanderer can go to and fro the screen yeehaw, but it cannot go up or down. Let's change that. We can no longer want the change X, we want the change Y block. So let's do that. Change Y by 10, green flag and up it goes, but it won't come back down. And you know why that is, because we need to go subtract 10. Yeehaw, our wanderer is wandering around open space, floating in space, I don't know, but let's like make things a little bit more difficult for our wanderer. While we're at it, I'm just gonna reduce the size of our wanderer here to about 60. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in some levels. I'm gonna give the backdrop a color. Cool, now let's go ahead and create some levels. Gonna get the rectangle tool. Gonna get a nice black outline going on here. Let's make it about, it's pretty cool. And let's get some pretty gnarly colors happening. I like this pink. It's like one of my favorite pinks going around. Okay, let's just draw a shape like this. And let's pop it up here. While we're at it, let's change that name to levels. All right, cool. Let's get our arrow tool and drag this around. I like making this a little bit thinner. Cool, looking nice. All right, so let's crack one there. Gonna copy that and paste it to there, back into the center. 
And there we go. All right, cool. So we've got some levels now. I'm going to press the green flag. And our wanderer is still wandering around. But look, there is an issue. Just like going straight through our walls that we don't want it to be doing. So we need to change that. Let's do that. So I've just jumped back into our wanderer sprite. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to grab a, another green flag block. And we're going to get another forever block. And we're going to get another if statement. So now we want to check for a color. So if our wanderer is touching the color, which color is that going to be? Well, let's go get it. It's our gnarly pink that we selected before. So if our wanderer is touching that color, then we want it to go back to probably where it is right now. So let's go like move it to a starting spot. So that's a pretty cool spot. We are going to take that position. I'm going to go to it right there. Boom. And uh, while we're at it, like let's just go to that position when we start the game too. Okay, press the green flag, let's go around, yeah, and oh, there we go, I hit the wall and going straight back to the start. And you'll see that when I press the green flag again, it goes back to the start. So that's looking pretty good. The last thing that we want to do to our game is like we get to here and we need to end the game. So we need to create a way for the game to end. So let's go ahead and do that and jump back into the level sprite. I'm going to rename this to one and I'm just going to draw another funky color, funky green. Green or funky. Whoa, big. Cool, so we're back in our Wanderer code and let's just duplicate this if statement and attach it beneath. Let's change the color to that gnarly green. Boom. And now we're not gonna go there anymore. Let's just say, I found you. Okay, so let's go back to the start. Here we go. Wandering around, oopsie doodle, there we go. Went back to the start. And boom, I found you. So there we go. That is the basics of a scratch maze game. There's heaps more that we could do with this. We'll look at doing some other stuff in future videos. All right, it's time for a scratchy question. I really want to know what feature do you want to put into your maze game? Drop your reply in the comment section below and I might even make a video for it. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Subscribe and like if you're new around here and have a scout of all my other content, which should be on the screen right now. If you can't get enough, then head on over to my Patreon page, link below, where you can join a membership tier and gain access to exclusive content. But until then, I'm off to go find a way. I'll catch you in the next one.